everyone. So today's look is inspired by Katy Perry, and I love all her videos and all her songs, so this is a great tutorial that I really like. And the video that is inspired by is Last Friday Night. I can't show you the picture of what this look is inspired by on YouTube, but I can show it to you on my blog. So if you want to see step-by-step -step and the products I use and the inspired picture, that will be on my blog. It will be on kbeauty 27 blogspot.com. You can also click the link in the down bar below. And if you recreate this look in any way or you switch it up and you change something about it, I would love to see it. And you can tweet me your picture if you want. And my Twitter is my Twitter username is kbeauty27 and the link for Twitter will be down below. You can also email me if you have any questions or you want me to do a different look by Katy Perry or anybody. So I hope you guys really like this tutorial and subscribe if you like it and also thumbs up me. It's in one of these corners, but thumbs up if you like this tutorial. So I hope you guys like it and let's get to it. Okay, so this is what the eye looks like. Really, really pretty. And this is the bare eye. So. First, we're going to start with an eye primer, and I'm going to be using NYX's eyeshadow base. Okay, now we're going to apply the Skin Tone eyeshadow base, and I'm just going to be using my finger, and I'm just going to gently bring it to my lid, inner corner, lash line, up to the brow bone, under the eye, and just on my brow. So now on to the next step. Alright, so the first color is going to be applied to our lid. So I'll just blend any extra blending. And this first lid color is the teal color. Katy Perry had a very bright teal colored eyeshadow on her lid. And I believe her eyes were matte. So I'm going to be using matte colors today with my 88 Original Palette. And I'm going to be using these two teal colors just because they make the perfect teal. One is too light, one is too dark. When mixed together, they make the perfect teal. So it's that color and the color diagonal to it. So this color and that color. Really, really pretty. So first you want to apply the lightest color. And you want to just use a lid brush. I'm just using a e.l.f. lid brush. Getting the light color a lot of the light color on your lid, pack it on. And what you just want to do is you just want to start applying this to your lid. Making sure this doesn't get into your crease. Like so. And now just apply that darker teal color on top of it. So I'm going to get this dark teal color. Just a little bit on. And just apply it just a little bit. And if this is still a little too bright for you, you can take that dark color again. Just remember to pack on the color because she had a lot. So I'm just going to take some that is in my crease that got in there. So now on to the pink shadow. Katy Perry had a very pink, just a little bit of pink showing kind of on her outer, like outer corner, but up high. And all it was was a little tone of it. So that's what I'm going to do on this eye. And I'm just going to be using this color, this pink color right here, and this hot pink color down here. So those are the two pink colors I'm going to be using. It's turning more purple up on camera, but it is pink. And all I'm going to do is just take a very fluffy blending, blending brush, and this one's by Forever 21, and I'm just going to be taking that light pink and just lightly coming from the outer corner up much brighter in person. So to kind of enhance that light pink, you want to take that hot pink color like so and you want a lot of it because you're blending it so. 
you just want this higher. You don't want this increased. So if you get a little extra, just kind of just cancel it out. And you don't want to blend it too much because the purple, when you go to blend the purple shadows, um, you don't want it to be all the way blended. And just bring this into your corner just a little bit. And now you have the pop of pink, so let's get on to the purple shadow. Okay, so the purple colors I'm going to be using today are two matte colors. The two purple colors are right there where my pointer and my ring finger are on. So this very light purple and then this very dark purple. So you just want to take the same blending brush you used before. And I'm going to be taking the light kind of hot purple. And I'm just going to be putting this in my outer corner and just bringing this all the way in. You just want to take just a little bit more, getting that purple color showing. Then taking the brighter purple, like the darker kind of bright purple, taking a bit of that on your brush, like so. And you just kind of want to take it into your crease. And that's going to be the main focus because the purple, there's a lot of the purple. And then blend that out. So it looks like that so far. And you can take away some of the excess pink just with your fingers. Like so. And let's get on to defining the purple. Okay, so to define the purple and kind of make it stand out, you want to use like a darker purple blue color. So I'm going to be using this purple color right here. Do you see that? This is a gorgeous color, and you want to use not such a fluffy blending brush. You want to use kind of a very stiff one, and this one's by e.l.f. And you just want to take a little, very little bit of it, just so that you get enough color. And this is going to go only halfway. And don't worry about blending this. We just want this to get in the exact spot. So it's going to look pretty harsh. And now taking your blending brush, taking a little bit of that brighter purple we took before, and just blending in circles with that. And blend until you get it to look really nice. So that's basically the blending. You can blend a little extra if you want, but I think that's good enough. And let's get on to the sparkle. Before we add our sparkles, we need to add a little teal back into eye because it did dim down when we um, blended the purple and the pink. So I just have this very seafoam green color in a Stila palette, the 37 eyeshadow palette. And it's this color right there. I absolutely think this is a gorgeous shimmery color. And this is basically the only shimmer we're bringing to it because it is our lid. And I'm just using a very fluffy brush because you don't want it too exact because we are putting sparkle. So all you do is you want to just get a little bit of that and apply it. To our lid. And like that. So we have a lot of fallout, I realize that, but we're going to take care of that after. And the sparkles we're using um, today for our eye, you can use any teal sparkle, but I'm going to be using NYX's Glitter Cream Palette. I'm going to be using this teal color all the way down here. Looks like that. And this is in the palette Ocean Breeze, which I love this palette. I got this for my birthday. And... It comes with these applicators, and I like using these applicators just because they're made for the gel cream consistency. So this is what the color looks up close. Really, 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 really pretty. So I'm going to be using the applicator that it came with, and I'm going to, as you see, I used it for the other eye. And all you want to do is literally take just a tiny bit at a time, because if you take too much, then you really can't help fix it. So I just want to take a little bit of it grabbing enough to cover the eye. Okay. Hold
pull down your lashes so it doesn't get stuck in your lashes and just pat on your lid at a time. And this shouldn't go anywhere except your lid. So that's what the sparkles look like. So basically all I did was wa line my waterline with Maybelline's Unstoppable Liner. It's a great crayon liner. I recommend it for anyone that wants to find a great crayon liner. And to set the liner, I lined my lower lash line with blue. And to line it, I used this smudge brush from e.l.f. And this color in my 88 Original palette. This color right there. So it's at the end of the palette. It's amazing and I love it. And I recommend using that, and that's what Katy Perry did. So I want to do my lashes now. So this is the mascara I'm going to be using, Maybelline the Falsies. And I'm going to go put this on my lashes and fill in my eyebrow, and then I'll be back. All right, so I set my face with my Maybelline Matte Powder, and I used my Eco Tools Finishing Kabuki Brush. I love this brush. It's absolutely amazing. So I just did that to set my face. And then she had very baby cheeks, so what I have is Jordana's blush in Think Pink, Touch of Pink, that was good, Touch of Pink. I got confused with my lip gloss. Um, so this is amazing, and I'm going to be using this for my cheeks. To apply this blush, I'm going to take a angled brush by Forever 21. I really like this. I'm just going to get a little on. And just get my cheeks with it. And it's just a touch of it. She didn't have much, but you saw that it was baby pink. So I got a kind of bright pink just because you really, um, on my skin tone, it's hard to see a baby pink. So I just got this, and this was from Kmart, if you, anyone wanted to know. And that's the blush I used. So let's get on to lips. Alright guys, so then I, for my lips, this is on to lips now, I have a base and it's kind of a white tinted and it's the, I don't know, it's a sample but I've been really loving this and I hope to find it in a full size product. It's Luxiva Lip Revive and it says it smooths on lips area before applying a lip color and it says it on the back. It'll focus. It's absolutely amazing and I love it. So I just applied that and I let it dry. And now, to make our lips that hot pink color, the only really hot pink color I really had was two things. And the first thing is my lip liner by NYX. It looks like this, and it's in sand pink. It looks very toned down pink, but when it's put onto your lips, it's a very pink fuchsia color, so I really like this. And then a little bit over it, I'm just going to apply it to make it more pinky. I'm going to put Wet n Wild's Think Pink Lipstick on top of it. So I'm going to line my lips. And I'll be right back. So these are really, really hot pink lips. And I love them. I love hot pink lips anyway. Um, especially for the summer. It's just really girly. But again, I used my lip, NYX lip liner. And then I sealed it in and added a little bit more pink with this. As you can't see so much of it because I only sealed it in. Now to make them more glossy instead of a little bit matte. I'm using e.l.f.'s Luscious Liquid Lipstick, which is my favorite pink lipstick, like lip gloss color. And this is in the shade Baby Lips. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it's in the shade Baby Lips. And I'm just going to apply just a little bit of this. So I'm going to apply like one little thing of it. just to give it that glossy thing, and now we're done with the tutorial, so I hope you guys liked it.